In this video, you will learn how to adjust the appearance of your Tidio chat widget, see the different display options, and learn how to change the chat widget position. To change the way your widget looks, head over to Settings. You will see the Channels section first. Click on Appearance, which you can see in the live chat list. On the right, you can see a preview of your chat widget. The preview allows you to check all the settings before you save them. You can use the drop-down menu at the top and see what the chat would look like in different scenarios. For example, when you're online or offline. At the top of the section, you'll be able to choose the color of the widget. That will also be reflected in the preview on the right. You see more color options when you click on the three dots. If you want to select your own custom color, use the brush icon, and that will open the color picker. To choose a color, you can use the visual interface or even input the hex or RGB values. Please note that you cannot compose a custom gradient when using the color picker. Only solid colors are possible here. We recommend choosing a color that aligns with your brand. In our case, that's a shade of blue. Underneath, you can determine what your online status says. This will be displayed in the top part of your widget. Below that, you can find the widget position setting. By default, the widget is shown in the bottom right corner of your website. You can move it to the bottom left corner by clicking on the left option. This will change the position only for the desktop widget. If you wish to change the position for mobile devices, scroll down and you'll see the mobile widget settings. For mobile devices, you can also select one of the three sizes for the Tidio chat icon. If you'd like to move the chat widget by a specific amount of pixels in any direction, please take a look at the article we've shared with you in the description of this video. Keep in mind this is more of an advanced setting and requires a custom CSS code implementation. In such cases, we always recommend contacting your web developer for assistance. The button label option allows you to show an additional bit of text next to your chat icon when the chat widget is closed. You can customize label text and see what it will look like in the preview. Now let's see some other options for displaying the chat widget. You will find a few important settings in the Get Started section. Here you can configure the widget's welcome screen. It's displayed when a visitor opens the widget but hasn't interacted in any other way yet. If they start a conversation, or if a bot message pops up at any point, this Get Started welcome screen will disappear. You can adjust the screen status and the message, or add a picture for the background. By default, Tidio displays your chat widget in a modern bubble form. However, if you wish to display it as a widget on the side of your page, the sidebar option may be great for you. Head over to the sidebar tab, where you can make the widget into a rectangle on the side of your website. Here, you can choose its color, position, and the text that will be displayed on it. Some of our users will also see a chat page tab. The chat page allows you to open Tidio in a new separate web page with only your chat widget on it. This is outside of your own website. At the moment, due to maintenance and security reasons, this option is available only to our older users. We may come back to allowing this option for all users again in the future, however. I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.